Hey everybody, thank you for visiting the channel and taking the time to watch this video. Um, please take a chance to watch my other videos that I had prior. I think you guys would take a liking into it. Um, I'm working on the second part, so please have patience. But let's segue back into this. Yes, you guys read the headlines right. Fossil of previously unknown four-legged whale found in Egypt. Now, this is just going to just blow you guys' mind. Like, I've been doing some little bit of research and actually found this article. I wanted to bring it to you guys, but <laughs> let, let, let's get into this, Barbudos. Like, let's go ahead. Cairo, August 25th. Scientists said on Wednesday that they had discovered the 43 million year old fossil, previously unknown amphibious four legged whale species in Egypt that helps trace the transition from land to sea. Now, before I continue that, this is really news to me, everybody. <laughs> I'm not a paleontologist, so I don't really know the evolution of whales, but from what I've known, I always thought that they were actually aquatic being aquatic mammals, you know, strictly in the water. Never knew that they evolved from the land and actually transitioned into water. So that's very interesting, but I want to keep continuing here. The newly discovered whale belongs to a prodiate, a group of extinct whales that falls in the middle of that transition, the Egyptian-led team of researchers said in a statement. The fossil was unearthed from the middle econ rocks in the Fayum Depression in Egypt's western desert, an area once covered by the sea that provided a rich seam of discoveries, discoveries, plural, Showing the evolution of whales before being studied at Mansoura University Vertebrate Paleontology Center. So this isn't, this isn't the first. They found actually multiple uh, mammals in this area. Skeletal remains, of course. But this is just blowing my mind, guys. I, I, I don't know if this is news to you, too. But <laughs> wow. Let's, but let, let's keep going. This is where it gets good. It's a good part. The new whale named Phamocetius. Anubis, and all for my uh, Egyptian lore people, when it comes to the myth mythological stories, you know who Anubis is, and I'll get to it right there, had an estimated body length of some 3 meters, 10 feet, and a body mass of about 1,300 pounds. On land mass, guys, on four legs. Don't, don't forget that, on four legs. And was likely a top predator. The researcher said, its partial skeleton revealed at the most primitive procedure well known from Africa. Like, and just to segue back when they named it actually Anubis, and I think that's interesting, after they named it after the Egyptian god Anubis, and if you know Anubis, you know, he was the Egyptian god that actually guided people into the afterlife. And he actually walked you to the halls of Ma'at, where you were judged by Ma'at's scale with your heart and an ostrich feather for purity, or met purity when it came to their religion. So, in the sense, your heart against this feather will be weighed out. And if the feather were to, were to be on a submarine, that means you were able to enter. But... If your heart weighed more than the feather of truth, well, guess you guess you're being reincarnated <laughs> and not reaching everlasting peace. But and another segue from Anubis, they were never able to identify the head of Anubis. Yes, if you look it up a little bit, you'll say that it looks like a jackal, uh, a dog, because they actually guarded the graves and stuff, but. It's not enough evidence to actually silify that, but just think that's interesting that they named it after Anubis. So let's continue here. Show you a little bit of the fossils that they um, actually have collected. And of course, I'm going to leave this up for you guys in the comments, in, uh, in the description below so you can look this up. But geez, people, this, is, this discovery is crazy. So, as I continue to finish it off, Samosius anubis is a key new whale species 
in a critical discovery for Egyptian and African paleontology, said Abdullah Gohar of MUVP, lead author of a paper on a discovery published in a journal of proceeding of the World Society B. The Wells genus name honors the founder depression and species name refers to Anubis, as I said prior. It's funny how they're putting it there. The ancient canine head, which I explained to you too, but we haven't really determined that's what it is, but it does resemble it. Or actually resembles a donkey, oh, actually also too. Got associated with mummification and the afterlife. Yeah, I forgot. He helped out with the mummification process. He was the head of it too. Forgot to mention that. Um, but despite recent fossils discoveries, the big picture of early well evolution in Africa has largely remained a mystery. The researchers said work in a region had a potential to reveal new details about the evolutionary transition from amphibious to fully aquatic whales. So, once again, guys, um, that, that's really news to me. Um, I always thought, again, that they were aquatic mammals, and but now we're learning that they transitioned from land to water, and I'm just learning things every single day ladies and gentlemen and just to point things out yes at some point the area of northern africa was underwater um if you watch joe rogan you know about a person called graham hancock he was featured multiple times on the joe rogan experience and he actually talked about how near the period, or I'm sorry, near the Sphinx, there's actually a layer in the sand where it shows erosion. But from his research and other researchers, that doesn't come from decades of just from the sand being blown. It actually looks like that. It was actually flooded, like this area was actually underwater. Yeah. And I know it sounds weird but actually this man does his research and he actually goes back to the younger Dryas period where the ice age well the lower ice age actual change of the climate around that time and saying that it was flooded and then it was a reset pretty much but I would recommend that you guys look into Graham Hancock He's written numerous books, uh, The Mysteries of the Gods, and numerous books. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to present this to you guys. Uh, did you guys know that this newly well species was actually from a land and actually made the transition into water? So I just want to say thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Um, got new videos coming up. Uh, part two is coming up for the antiquities video when I go into details about esoteric contributions from ancient history. So that's coming up real soon. Just want to make sure I give you guys good information. <laughs> don't want you. Don't want to be splurring out just some words, you know. But yeah, uh, once again, I'll leave this in the description but yeah uh what did you guys think about this article and like what do you guys think so get into the comment section let's talk about it um and again thank you all for taking the time to visit my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one all right guys peace